Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, gang. Uh, I'm Andy Perkin. Welcome uh, very much to The Download. It is Monday, February 5th, and I have to say, I thought it was a joke that Prince was playing the halftime show. I didn't know that was for real. He did, though. Uh, it was good. I know everybody liked it. I was still waiting for Diamonds and Pearls. Anyway, uh, next year, rock set. I'm hoping. Uh, more on the uh, Super Bowl coming up in a few. First, though, we begin in D.C. for the big deal. And, oh, was it big? It happened over the weekend. For the first time, President Bush confronted the enemy, the Democrat Party. Actually, these days, it's the most supportive the group he could uh, speak to there in Washington. Uh, they all got together not to talk about yeah, troop buildups or things like that, but rather the things they agree on, like anybody, anybody, strawberry Pop-Tarts right. are the best. Um, also, uh, consider... Barat was stiff. That was agreed on. Uh, and uh, and Jenna is totally me, hotter. Okay. Uh, so it was the uh, Super Bowl yesterday. The most expensive time slot for ads. $2.6 million for 30 seconds. Um, the download ad budget, as you can imagine, not that big. Or the entire budget. Actually, call it a budget. <laughs> it's a misnomer. It's a debt. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, we emptied the account to bring you our first Super Bowl ad. I hope you saw it. Uh, if not, here it is. Take a look. What do you think? It, it, that's sort of all we could afford, but I thought the production quality was very high. Uh, we'll rewind the tape. Let's, let's take another look. Go ahead. Man, <laughs> that is, that's capitalism. That right there, that was a lot of money, and it was well worth it. Uh, speaking of stupid, uh, now this is a bull, an animal trainer named Dumas. D that's dumbass. Seriously, dumbass. Uh, anyway, it took on a 9-foot-tall, 1,600-pound Coda. That's a Kodiak Grizzly, the human donned a Peyton Manning jersey. And amazingly, well, you know the outcome. Yeah, he was a good bear. All right, to the Hollywood Lowdown. And wouldn't you know, Paris Hilton is involved in today's download. <laughs> lowdown. So uh, the website TMZ.com reports that page six confirmed that Ron Jeremy and Paris Hilton and her friend Bijou, someone or other, slipped into a ladies' room and played a round of I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Paris and Bijou flashed him, which doesn't really take much for Paris, uh, and I'll leave the rest to your imagination. It's all in his book, a picture of which he's shown flaunting here on his MySpace page. Thanks for the picture, Ron. All right, moving on. We are loading up your hot clicks now. Those irresistible headlines and video clips which you'll just find right here in your hot click segment. All right, time for a pig wedding, of course, uh, in Taiwan. Yes, two potbelly pigs tied the knot to celebrate the year of the pig. And I'm not being offensive here. It's really the year of the pig. Hundreds watched. Even a local priest decided, eh, times are tough. I'll marry pigs. Why not? Uh, no word on where they are honeymooning, but they did get an excellent all-clad set out of the deal. All right, and in Philly, uh, this weekend brought the annual wing bowl. Mmm, yum. Uh, Fifteen participants went wing to wing with five professional leaders. Crazy Pete was there, too. Uh, Joey Chestnut again pulled out the victory. 182 chicken wings. That's nothing, I think. Anyways, he won a new Suzuki, complete with a buffalo-scented hanging tree. Mm. Now, I still haven't heard from our guy in Punxsutawney yet. I know. I, I hope he's all right. We'll find out. Maybe we'll get to him tomorrow. I'd bail him out, but... Wasn't that a great ad from before? It was, that's all we got. All right, drop a line anytime. Uh, Andy at the downloadshow.com. That's Andy at the downloadshow.com. Time to uh, do work. Thank you for dropping a line or something. Uh, we're out of here. A warning about our parting shot, though. If you're not into pole dancing, turn your head. Yeah, I thought you'd keep watching. It's the newest exercise, pole dancing, and it's catching on in Beijing. Uh, the city has its first pole dancing school. Some women do it without telling their boyfriends and spouses. Others say their husbands are big fans of the class. Hopefully the owner is charging admission for everyone. And we'll just let this tape keep rolling for a few more seconds. All right, and we're out of here. We'll see you uh, tomorrow for more fun and frivolity right here on The Download. Goodbye, ladies.